From the time he earned a pilot's license and started with the family business, Robert DeLuce has developed regional and chartered carriers and managed development, growth, and expansion of their service. Robert's development of aviation companies culminated with Porter Airlines operating with new facilities at Billy Bishop Toronto City Airport. From the time he was born in Chapleau, Ontario in 1950, aviation has been part of Bob DeLuce's life. In 1952, Bob's family moved to the railroad town of White River, Ontario, where Bob began his early association with the family's aviation business. After his parents, Stan and Angela, incorporated White River Air Service following Stan's experience as a pilot with the RCAF during the Second World War. Bob DeLuce grew up in White River, where he saw the family business grow. Eventually, there were nine children in the family, seven boys and two girls, all involved in the family business. And by 1960, the company operated more than 25 aircraft with bases from Sault Ste. Marie to Moosonee on aircraft equipped with floats or skis, depending on the time of year. Bob attended St. Michael's College School in Toronto starting in 1964 and after taking flying lessons, earned his private pilot license on his 17th birthday. A year later, he qualified for a commercial license, trained as a weather observer, and serviced and flew aircraft including Cessnas, Beavers, and Otters from the company's bases. After graduating from McGill University in 1971, Bob joined the family business full-time when it established Nor-Ontar, operating twin otter aircraft and building a major maintenance facility in Timmins, Ontario to compete in twin-engine scheduled and charter services. In 1974, White River Air Services expanded with the purchase of Austin Airways, and Bob concentrated on aircraft sales as well as maintenance and engineering for the company. This entailed disposing of a dozen seaplane bases and 30 single-engine aircraft over the next few years, as replacement twin-engine aircraft such as Twin Otters and Hawker Sidley 748s were acquired. And during expansion, Bob flew the Hawker Sidley aircraft acquired during that time. Growth continued as the family-owned company bought other airlines and interests in other carriers through the 1970s. By the early 1980s, Bob was vice president and general manager of Austin Airways with its fleet of more than 50 aircraft, a pioneer airline founded by Hall of Fame member Jack Austin in 1934 and the airline's story was told by Hall of Fame member Larry Milbury in one of his many books. Bob and his wife Catherine were now parents of a growing family of one girl and three boys. Some interests were later sold, and family man Bob was president and CEO of Deleuze Investments, in which all Deleuze brothers were shareholders. With the Deleuze sale of interests in Air Quebec, a 25% interest in Canada 3000 Airlines was acquired, and Bob became president of the company until it was sold in 1995. By 2000, Bob and others were in discussion with the Toronto Port Authority about the possibility of starting a new airline from the Toronto City Centre Airport. The new Porter Airlines was announced in February 2006, with startup set for October that year. An order was placed with Bombardier for up to 20 Q400 aircraft, and with Bob Deleuze as President and CEO, Porter Airlines received its first new Q400 aircraft, and Porter became the first scheduled Canadian airline to use that new type. Under Bob's leadership, service commenced with 10 return flights per day to Ottawa. In rapid growth, by 2016, Porter served 23 regional destinations in Eastern Canada and the United States, with 26 Canadian-built Q400 turboprop aircraft and 1,400 employees. Now renamed as Billy Bishop Toronto City Airport, the location serves as the main base for Porter Airlines, and the company invested in new facilities as well as aircraft. The company serves Canadian and American destinations from Thunder Bay to St. John's and from Vermont to Florida. The recipient of many awards for himself and for his company, Bob Deleuze is also the recipient of three honorary doctorates, including one from his alma mater, McGill University. 
Bob DeLuce has been involved with aviation all his life. He and his father, Stan, are the only father and son who are members of Canada's Aviation Hall of Fame. Bob continues to fly and has logged some 12,000 hours on 38 types of aircraft since he first received his pilot's license. And he has built on his experience to develop a regional airline servicing Canada and the United States. Launched in October 2006, Porter is a North American airline unlike any other. Operating from its base in the heart of downtown Toronto, Porter has defined a unique position in the world of civil aviation by offering refined service and convenient connections operated by Canada's most modern fleet of aircraft. Porter's fleet of Bombardier Q400 aircraft is brand new and highly fuel efficient. The plane's interiors have been designed to create a soothing and warm environment that feels more personal rather than corporate. A philosophy that also extends to Porter's onboard service that is executed brilliantly. Porter flying refined. Married to Catherine since 1975 and now a grandfather with aviation in his blood, Robert Deleuze was inducted as a member of Canada's Aviation Hall of Fame on June 15, 2017.